it's been a long day, <laughs> but we gonna make it. Um, so I am actually going to cook dinner. I'm gonna cook sea bass. I got that from Trader Joe's, so I'm gonna see how it tastes. It's frozen. I normally get fresh food. So we're gonna see. I got some sides, Brussels sprouts, and a salad. I'm trying to be healthy, so I'm excited with my glass of wine. Oh, I'm gonna add rice too. Mm. And so let's get this meal going. All right, you guys, so before we start cooking, I'm gonna pour me a glass of wine. This is Pinot Grigio. Sara is a brand that I got from Trader Joe's. Y'all, it's so good. Okay, so first what I'm gonna do with my Brussels sprouts, they're already clean, and all I'm gonna do is just cut them in half to prepare them to be cooked. So I am cutting off the ends and then just simply cutting the Brussels sprouts in half. Okay, guys, so now that my Brussels sprouts are cleaned and cut up, what I'm going to do is add olive oil, salt, pepper, and a little garlic powder on them. And then I'm going to let them roast in my toaster oven. Um, probably a little bit before they're done, I'll add a little butter. That'll give it a little bit more flavor. And um, we're going to get that started and then we're going to move on to the next one so that we can have our meal. I'm so excited, y'all, I'm so hungry. Um, I'm doing 23 and one. I haven't ex told you guys that, but I'm doing 23 and one. It's just been helping me. Like, I don't, if you're not sure what it is, 23 and one is when you fast 23 hours and you have one meal. And digestive wise, how I feel, I feel great. But when I'm hungry, I'm hungry. And so I eat like a meal meal. So um, I'm going to, once I finish the brush spots, I'm actually going to make me a small size salad just to kind of put something in my stomach for right now while I cook. Then I can eat when I get everything. So I'm super duper excited. So let's get these brush spots going so I can have a salad and put some on my stomach while I make this video. poppy seed uh, um, dressing. I bought this from Aldi's like not too long ago. You guys. It, was, it wasn't it was bad. It actually was pretty good and I was like okay I could do a poppy seed um, dressing and the fact that it's organic you know that's another plus for your girl. And I don't know about y'all, but I like to season my little salad with a little pepper. Don't ask me why, but it just makes it a whole lot better. <laughs> so, let me have my little appetizer so that I can not starve anymore because your girl is hungry. Okay, guys, so I have my fish that um, I am going to cook. This is some sea bass that I got from Trader Joe's. Um, I'm excited. 
So we're gonna season it. I'm gonna try this um, new season I got from them, which is 27 Season Salute. And it literally has everything in it. So it shouldn't be, like, it should have flavor. I'm trying to think, it has literally everything in it. You can't like, it's not like you missing something, so. We're just gonna apply this seasoning and see how it tastes. Um, I'm excited, honestly, you guys, to try this. So, um, first, what I'm gonna do is add a little olive oil to get a little wet, wet. That way, the olive oil can coat the fish, y'all. My cast iron skillet is ready for this fish, y'all. Ooh, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm just hungry, y'all, I think that's the thing. So we are gonna season this, y'all. There is a thing called being over seasoned, which I don't want my fish to be, because sometimes when it's over seasoned, it's like <clears throat> salty and all that stuff. So the fish should still have the fish flavor and the herbs just enhance it a little bit. You know what I mean? Okay, so. We, this is about as good as we gonna get. So now that it's seasoned, go ahead and toss this in the cast iron skillet. So, um, okay. So y'all see this thing coming? Woo! That's good. That means my cast iron skillet is ready to cook. I'm adding a little olive oil to it just to kind of get it going. But the thing is, I really want my fish to be more crispy. So I'm not adding too much um, oil to it. So we just, y'all hear that? That sizzle, that's what I'm looking for. So we just gonna let it cook until it gets brown. Okay, so you guys, look at my Brussels sprouts. They're starting to look real good. I'm gonna add a little butter, just to give it a little bit more flavor. Let them sit for probably like another two, five minutes. All right, and you guys, so this is the end product of my meal. I have my sea bass, Brussels sprouts, and brown rice, y'all. I'm so ready to eat. Oh, Jesus. It's about to be so good.